Hey everybody, we're doing a oil change on our 8030 here. Just thought I'd give you a little video what we do and you guys can watch. So here's a time lapse. Hey everybody, uh, done with the oil change. I'll go over what uh, some stuff that we've did over the years on this 8030 and you can give you the rundown on it. So here it is. Start on this side. Um, let's see here. Well, I'd redid, rebuilt this motor a couple years ago. Frame out. Um, did my five hole tips and the injectors. They're uh, actual a Mac truck injector tip or nozzle and what you have to do with them five holers though you have to turn the injector 90 degrees in the cylinder head so you got to get some different hold downs made and uh fair valley performance you can buy the hold downs from them theirs look a little different than these i had these cut out by a guy local with a water jet uh a little cheaper but uh, i mean fair valleys is are some very nice hold downs so i get the this is their uh, return line kit as you can see it comes with little banjo bolts little banjo fittings little tees and then uh, the little hose here for the return line um, my reasoning for doing the five hole tips is to uh, atomize the fuel better rather than Alice's idea of using a four hole tip with bigger holes and that way it doesn't plug up as easy or I don't know that's what that's what I had read a few years ago that what their reasoning behind it was so I mean we change our fuel filters fairly often and that's why I started uh, putting these Donaldson filters on this is what the uh, A3 Cummins uses on one of theirs that I found this filter for um, it's uh, same thread and everything uh, it is a P550774 Donaldson and uh, it has a much lower micron rating. So that's, it should be plenty of fueling or filtering for the uh, M100 on this. Um, this is uh, just the old M100 AMBAC. Uh, haven't really done nothing to that. Uh, regular factory turbo, it has the uh, muffler delete. Uh, let's go to the other side. You'll notice something that on here that ain't on many, if any, 8030s. Uh, intercooler from an 8050 or an 8070. You have to uh, change your charge pipe from the turbocharger. The water pump backing plate because they have the tube that comes up and uh, goes in the intercooler. And everything else is pretty much bolt on. Got your coolant filter here. Don't have any coolant filters in stock right now so i'm gonna have to get some of them and we'll swap that out right away but uh yeah that's pretty much all this one is extended also i have my uh weight bracket extension here to utilize the uh 12 is this 12 14 weight bracket and um what i do on these to extend them out is uh the original two holes in the back here and the two holes in the front here. Well, I just moved the original uh, back holes up to the original front holes and then drilled two new holes in the front. You do have to cut off the uh, two-wheel drive ear for in the back so it clears. So you just snip that off clear and uh, 
I mean, it's not going to be a two wheel drive, so there's no need for it. Um, and then, of course, you got to get your drive shaft extended and uh, did that. And you got to make a little opening just a tad bit bigger where it comes through for the belly pan mount there. And uh, that's pretty much it with the, the old 8030 here. This one's relatively untouched, except for the motor, of course. But, yep, uh, just thought I'd give you a rundown on the old 8030, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.